Hey Tubers. So I thought I'd do a quick video and ask you all out there um, a question. What kind of art do you do? Um, it could be pagan related, it could be Wiccan related, it could be completely mundane. Um, just kind of what, what art do you um, create? And let's see it. A lot of my stuff is doodles just because I spend so much time at school. So I have like notes intermingled with doodlings. Um, so I do that a lot. Um, and I draw a lot for my notes because a lot of it, um, you know, I'm a dance major, so a lot of it is visual or, you know, things like that. Um, <laughs> I did a character. Um, and then a lot of my other stuff <clears throat> is costume designs. Um, so this is something I did for a pageant I was doing. Oops. You can see there. Um, and then I have my actual costume design sketchbook that I just got. I haven't really used. Um, I used it a little bit to sketch things for a um, dance costuming class that I had. But other than that, I haven't used too much. So I've got a couple of things in there, dance related, some fashion related. But then I also do, I love um, sort of recon or recycling things. Um, so I made this box out of, it was an old chocolate box. Um, I believe it's a V chocolate. I don't remember. It's the one that looks like Tiffany's. It's the, the blue box. Um, and then I had some black paper and I did this. So, and that's actually, I don't know if you can tell, it's, yeah, there we go. It's metallic ink. Um, so I just covered the black box, you know, made it prettier. And uh, I just kind of keep little odds and ends, beads, you know, things, twine, just stuff, uh, copper wire, silver wire, um, just things that I might use, little odds and ends for spell bags or bottles or, you know, anything that you could think of that, you know, you might need a little trinket for. Um, and then these I actually did um, on the bus one day um, to school. Um, those of you who don't know, I live in Salt Lake, but, I, but Utah Valley University is in Orem, and that's Utah Valley. Um, so every day I take a train from the bottom of the hill where I live to Sandy, and then from Sandy, that's about 45 minutes to an hour, and then from Sandy I take a bus from Sandy around the, the point of the mountain down into the other valley and to school, and that's generally another hour, hour and a half. So I average about, you know, a two hour trip there, two hour trip home every day. Um, and some days I have to do that twice, which is no fun. Um, anyway, so I did these, and these are the elements. So you see here, you have air, and I did a little fairy for air. And then here you have earth. It's a little tree shape with the cauldron and the green man and a broom. And then there you have water, and it's the waves and a cauldron shape, and there's some shells in there, and, you know, a, a, um, sort of the lady of the lake with the chalice in her hand. Um, and then over here, fire with the athame or sword, and a fire shape. And I also have a couple of works that I did with, um, with oil paints. So these are actually transfer techniques. Um, it's really, really fun. I, I should do a video on how to do it because it's very easy and very fun. So there's that little dancer. Um, and then I did this one here. Try to get all that in there. There we go. And then another one of my pieces in oil that I did a couple of years ago. Um, right after I got back from New York and well I guess I had gotten back from New York and then moved out here and I did this in my first dormitory just a little painting of New York that I did 
And it's actually a picture that I took while I was in New York. So I thought this was really funny. I did, the other night I couldn't sleep and I was up late. So I decided to make some offering stones. Um, I had gotten the recipe from, oh gosh, I can't remember his name. He's on YouTube. Um, if I can figure out who I got the recipe from, um, I'll post a link in the sidebar. Um, but anyway, so I, I was making my offering stones and I had a bunch left. And I decided that I would make a little pregnant goddess. So I have my little goddess here and she's got, you know, hair and, and I put a couple sprigs of lavender in her hair and a rose little crown on top. And then I decided I would make her a little cauldron and that's a little a rose hip there. So a little cauldron. And then to go with my set of my goddess offering dough, um, I made these little offering stones. And they have a little indented pentacle on there. I have a couple of dyed silk scarfs that I did. Um, so I'll show those real fast. So I have this one here, just kind of pinks and oranges. Um, this was actually a test scarf that I did just to test out some dyeing techniques. And I really ended up liking the way it turned out. So it's kind of got this, I don't know, burnout effect. Um, and this I did for the element of water. Um, and I have another one for earth that I did similarly, but different. Now I'll show you that some other time. Um, that's actually on my altar right now. But I did this one for water. And the way I did it was I actually left it out. Um, we had a rainstorm. So I did all of the, the ink and soaked it in the ink and then put it out in the grass and let the raindrops hit it. Um, and that's why you see the dots in the colors. That's where the the color pooled. I did this one for air, and this one I literally put the dye in on one side, and it was a windy day, and I hung it up on our on our uh, clothesline, and it caused the colors to streak out. So. I thought it was kind of neat that they were actually created by the elements. Fire is a difficult one to do. I don't really know that I'm going to do that one um, just because I don't know how to make dye react to fire or heat. So I'll have to figure that one out. And the earth one, the earth one I did just like the water one, but instead of having it rain, I soaked the, the silk and the dye and then I put it on the grass and kind of crunched it up in the grass so the grass kind of dictated where the peaks and valleys were and where the ink stuck um, and then the last thing that I do is I do these little fascinators um, and you can actually buy these on my Etsy store um, I've got a couple more in the works and this one here is actually um, it's got feathers all over it so it's wrapped in feathers and then it's got Swarovski crystal there and a little poof of, whoops, a little poof of fabric. So I do these little hats. They're fun, you know, fun little things to wear. They don't really fit. They don't really suit me, but, <laughs> but they're fun little things. Um, and then the last piece I'll show you is actually not mine. Um, I didn't do it. Um, my partner did. He's a graphic designer. So, I mean, he does art all day long. So it's just kind of his thing so he made these for me um, and they're actually right there um, and he's very much into the element so he decided to do an elemental set so as you can see there's um, I'll go over here there's earth fire water and air at the top so he made those for me, and you can actually find those. Um, eventually, I'm going to put the prints. We're going to do a limited edition um, print, and I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember how many limits he was going to do, um, but we're doing a limited uh, edition signed print by the artist. Um, I will be selling those on Etsy. I'm not sure how much we'll be selling them for, um, but keep an eye out. So those will be up. So yeah, that's the that's the art that I create. Um, post a video response. Let me know what kind of stuff you're doing and the art that you create.